Good morning, students. How are you all? I am Shweta, and welcome to the Maths class of Standard Three. I am teaching you chapter number one, that is number and numeration, and this is video number three. So, today's class we will start with an exercise. Whatever we have studied till now, we will do in that exercises. Okay. So, first exercise is one A. In this, what you have to do, I have written the question. Write the missing numbers that comes before, after, or between the given numbers. Okay? As you can see, I have written few numbers, and you have to identify that which number will come before. After or between that numbers. Okay. So, first one I am going to do it for you. And the rest ones you have to do it with yourself. What you have to do? Just take out your copy and start writing. As you can see, I have given four digit number here. So, no problem at all. It is as simple as that. Whatever you have done in the three digit numbers or two digit number. Okay. So, how we will find? Here first, I have given a blank. Okay. And after that, I have written a number. So, before this number, I have given the blank. So, first we have to find out that which number will come before this number. Understood? So, how we will find out that which number will become, sorry, which, which number will come before this number? So, what we have to do? We have to decrease 1, means subtract 1 in the, from the given number. So, at which place we will subtract the number? As you already have studied, this is the place of Thousand, hundred, tens and ones. So, if we want to know that which number is coming just before or just after the given number. So, in that, in that situation, we have to increase or decrease one number from the number that is at one's place. Okay? We will not touch tens, hundred and thousand. We have to only add or subtract one number from this number which is placed at one's position. Clear to you? Now, at the one's position, what you can see? This is the number at the one's position. Yes, very good. Six number is there. So, to find out which number will come before this number, what we have to do? We have to subtract or add. We have to decrease or increase. Yes, very good. We have to decrease. We have to subtract one number from 6. And if we will subtract 1 from 6, then we will get 5 as an answer. Very good. Now... So, what we have to write here, the three digit, that is 4550, we will write as it is here. And after that, which number we have got? After the, uh, subtracting one, number five. So, we will write here five. Okay? Understood? Very good. Now, here, two blanks, we can see after this number. Okay? This blank is not before. This blank is after this number. So, what we have to do to find out which number will come after this number? We have to decrease or increase? Yes, we have to add one number. At which place? Thousand, hundred, tens or ones. Which place we have to add? Tell. Yes, at 1's place, we have to add one number. 
So if we will add 7 plus 1, then which number we will get? Calculate. Very good. 8 number. So these 3 number we will write as it is. That is 4550 and the number that we have got after addition number 8. Understood? Now again we can see a blank and this blank is just after this new number. Okay. So now we have to add one in which number? This number because this blank is just after this number. So at which place we have to add one? Yes, very good. At one's position. So if we will add one in eight, then what we will get? What we will get? Yes, number nine. So here again the three digit we will write as it is four thousand five hundred and fifty. And the number that we have got after addition, this 9. Understood? So like this, you have to do these three questions. One more thing I want to clear that at this question, you can see the number I have written is 9059. So at the place of 1's, this is place of 1's, we can see that 9 number is written. And if we will add one number to this 9, then it will become 10. Very good. It will become 10. But, so in this what we have to do? We have to add this one number to number 5. Why? Because the number we have got 10 has two digits. The digit, the number that is 0 is placed at 1's position and the number 1 is placed at 10's position. Okay. So here 0 number we have to write at 1's place. Okay. And 1 number we have to add at 10's place. Like we have already studied in our previous video that when we were doing solving the abacus then we have seen that when these spikes filled with 10 beads then this position will again become 0. So here this one's position filled with 10 number. So this position will become 0. And one new bit will get added to the place that is just before this place. Okay. So, which place is just before this place is 5. So, what we have to do? We have to add 1 to this place. So, what number we will get? 5 plus 1 that is 6. Okay. And then we have to write these number as it is. 9 and 0. Okay? Clear to you? Very good. Now pause this video and write it in your notebook. Now let's do question number 2. In this question, you have to write the numbers or means numerals of the given number name as write numerals for given number names. Okay? Here 4 Numbers name I have written. Okay. And here made a table. As you can see this is the place of ones, tens, hundreds and thousand. So in this also again I am going to do first one for you and the rest you have to do it with your own. Okay. So here what is written first two thousand. Okay. How many thousands are there? Two thousand. So how many thousands are there? Two. So at the place of thousand, what we will write? How many thousands are there? Very good. Two. Okay. Now four hundred. Okay. How many hundreds are there? Four hundred. 
So at the place of 100, what we will write? 400. So number 4. Okay. Now what is written here? 52. 52. So at the place of 10s, we will write 50. At the place of 1s, we will write 2. 5, 2. 52. 2,452. You have to do. Okay. Now here, uh, in one question, hit this. C number, you can see it is written 6203. As you can see here, 1000, number 1000 is also given. 6000, in, uh, at the place of 100, how many hundreds are there? 2. But there is not a number given for the place of 10. As it is written only 3. So for in that, what you have to write? At the place of 10, you have to write 0. Because at the place of tens, nothing is written there. So, at the place of tens, you have to write zero. And after that, thousand, six, hundred, two. And at the place of three, three. Understood? So, again, pause this video and write it in your copy. Now, before solving the next question, let me introduce you counting by two. 5, 10, 100 and 1000. As till now we have studied that counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 means in the previous number I am adding 1. Like 1, in 1 I have added 1 then it will become 2. In this 2 again I have added 1 then 3. In this 3, again I have added 1, then 4. So these are the counting numbers, means we are just adding 1, 1, 2, each means previous number. How to solve the problem like counting by 2s? In this, we have to add 2 in the previous number. Like if I have written 1, then here I don't have to add 1, but I have to add 2. Means 1, 2, 3. After that, 4, 5. After that, 6, 7. Okay? So, these are counting by 2's. Like, if it is started with 2, then 2, 3, 4. 4, after 4, if we will add 2, 5, 6. Yes, good. Then, 6, if we will add 2, then say yes, good, 8. So these are counting by 2's. Means we are adding 2 number to the previous number. Okay. So if suppose. I have to solve this. Means complete this. I have given blanks here. Okay. And I have to fill this blank by counting by 2. So, how I will do? We, I have to add 2 to 2 number to the number which is placed at 1's position. At the 1's position, which number is there? At the 1's position, yes, 0. So, we have to add 2 in 0. So, which number we will get? Number 2. Here we will write 2, 3, 7. 2, 3, 2,372. Okay. After that, again we have to do it by counting by 2. So, what we will write? 2,372 we have to add here. So, 2 to 4. Very good. 2374. Now here again we have to add 2 digit 2 number. Where? At the at this number which is placed at 1's position. Okay. So 2370. 
what number we will get after get, after adding two number to this number 4 plus 2 is equal to very good 6 okay now again 2370 and then 6 plus 2 very good 8 and after this as as you can see if we will write 2370 here then if we will add 2 in this number, then it will become 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. And previously I have told you that if this type of number will come, then we have to add one number to the number which is placed at 10th position. So here it will become 8 and here 0, 2380. Okay? So you understood how to do counting by 2? We have to add 2. So this is clear. Now counting by 5. The same number, number I am taking. And this time we will do by counting by 5. How we have to do? At the place of 1 we have to add 5 this time. Okay? So, 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. So, 2,375. Okay? Again, if we will add 5, then what number we will get? We will get 10. 5. This number 5. Plus, we will add 5 is equal to 10. And if 10 number is there, then very good. We have to add 1 to the number which is placed at 10th position. So here we will write 2380. Okay. Again we have to add 5 number to the 1's place. So 2385. 0 plus 5. 5. Very good. And again if we will add 5 plus 5. Again, which number we will get? 10. So, again, where we have to increase? Here. No, we have to increase one number here. So, 2390. Okay? So, counting by 2, counting by 5. Clear? Now, Counting by 5 is also done. Okay. Now we will look at counting by 10. Okay. 10 means we have to increase one number means we have to add one number because 10 contains one number and whenever you have seen that we get this number we used to add one number where at 10th position understood so counting by 10s means we have to add one number where which place very good 10s place okay so the same number I am checking here also 2370. So if we will start our count from this number and we have to do counting by 10 then it will become 2380. Okay then 2390. Okay, and if again we will count it by 1, uh, sorry by 10, then which number we will get? If we will add one number to this 9, then again what we will get? 10. Okay, and as we have seen in the abacus that if this is filled with 10, then it will become 0 
and one more will get added to this. If this will be filled with 10 bits, then it will also become 0 and one new bit will get added to 100's place. Similarly like that, if 10's place is filled with 10 number, then where we have to add one more number? Add the 100's place. Okay? So here we have to write 2, 4. Okay? This is 100's place. This is 10's and this is 1's. So 100 will be increased by 1 and the rest will be 0, 0. Understood? And after this, if again we have to add it, but means do that counting by 10, then again we have to do it at the 10's position. And this is 1's. If we will add 1 and 0, then we will get 1. Okay? Clear? Now what we have to look? 2 is clear. Counting by 2. Counting by 5 is also clear. Counting by 10 also clear. Now we will look. Counting by 100. Now, similarly like that, we have done and counting by 10s, we have to do in Counting by hundreds. But we have to add one more number. And with that number. Which number? That is placed at hundreds. Hundreds position. Okay. This is ones, tens, hundreds. So if we have to do counting by hundred. Then we have to add one to the number that is placed at hundreds position. Okay. So this time again we will do like this. 2000, 3 plus 1, 4, 7, 0. These number we have to write as it is. Okay. Again, 2570, 2670, 2700 and 70. We have just only increased one number to the number that is placed at hundreds position. Understood? So, counting by hundred is also clear. Now, counting by thousand. Similarly like that, if we have to count by hundred, then we have to add one number to the number that is placed at thousand position. Okay? And the rest number we have to write as it is. If we have to count this number by thousands, how we will do? We have to add 1 here. Okay? So this 2 will become 2 plus 1. Very good. 3,370. Okay? These number we have to write as it is. Now, this 3 plus 1. 4,370. Okay? Plus 1 at the place of 1,000. 5,370. So, I hope this is very much clear to you. Now, I am going to give you a question according to these. You have to write it in your copy and you have to solve this. The question I have written... The third number question is counting by 2. Write the numerals from. These are the numerals I have written. And you have to start your counting by 2 from these numerals. Okay. And the number question number 4 is counting by 5. Okay. Here again I have given 3 numerals. And you have to start your counting by 5 from these numbers. Understood? Write these things in your copy. Again after that I will give you some more questions to write. Now, question number 5, counting by 100. 3 numerals I have written, 6500, 7010 and 1890. You have to do it counting by 100. You have to fill this blanks. And the number 6 question is, counting by 1000. Okay, 
Here again I have given three numerals that are 6230, 3840 and 1500. So students exercise 1A is completed. I have given you some homework. So just start doing that in your maths copy. Okay.